Welcome back everybody. I'm going to show you something I found out today. Copper can be your friend, especially when you're denoxing. Today we're going to show that we can use this copper to indicate whether or not our denoxing process is working. I'm going to put a drop of nitric acid on this copper and you'll see that it turns green. That indicates that the uh, copper is being dissolved by the nitric acid. And next I'm putting on a drop of hydrochloric acid and you'll take note that it's not doing anything. So the presumption is, is if there is nitric acid still in solution in your aqua regia, that by putting a drop of that aqua regia onto copper and getting a green color, then we will know that we still need to denox. So we're going to start off by mixing some uh, aqua regia. So we'll mix 20 milliliters of hydrochloric acid with 6 milliliters of nitric acid which is going to be a pretty high nitric concentration but uh, we want to see how things work out so we're going to overdose it on the nitric a bit. And just to make things interesting, we're going to throw in a few bits of gold, just so I have an incentive not to screw up. Alrighty, got my gold added. Now we got to put this on the heat so it will... Uh, kick off and start dissolving the gold. Now here's the solution. The gold is still dissolving in the bottom and you'll notice it's kind of milky. Um, I put in a filter from our previous experiment. Uh, the filter that I used uh, when I filtrated the test tubes. Now to verify the status of our aqua regia as far as having excess nitric acid, I put a drop on this copper here and you will will notice that it is turning green so we do have excess nitric acid we then wipe the acid off the copper and use 200 grit sandpaper to polish the the front of it clean it up get the old stains off it so we have a good clean reference to start with on our experiment now after filtering the guck out of the aqua regia from the uh, old paper filter that was in there we're going to take a sample of it and drip it on the uh, copper here, see what color we get. I am seeing a bit of a, a greenish tint to it. So this indicates that we have nitric, which it should. We've overdosed it and we have not yet started denoxing, so there should be excess nitric. Just for color comparison, I'm going to put another drop of the aqua regia onto the copper. And we'll note how clear it is at this point and how green the other one is. Eventually, both will turn green. But there is a difference in color, so we do know that the first one has changed green. The second one is greening up now. And after about a minute, we see they've both turned green. In this experiment, we're using urea to denox our solution. So we're adding a few urea prills and we'll let those dissolve. Uh, in my next video, I will be using sulfamic acid instead of urea to see if the outcome is different in this experiment. Okay, after our first denoxing procedure, we'll do another drip sample and see if it turns green. Well, the solution seems to be turning green. That means we still have excess nitric acid in our aqua regia. 
Our next procedure will be to add more urea and then we will uh, test again for nitric. Here's the addition of our urea prills on our second denoxing and we'll give those a moment to dissolve. We'll now take another drip sample, put it here at 12 o'clock on our copper and see what we get. I'm seeing green. That means we still have too much nitric acid. We'll have to run another denox procedure and hopefully we hit it then. We're now adding our third dose of urea and we'll give that a couple minutes to dissolve. And we'll take another drip sample and place it on our copper and see what our results are. This strip is in the uh, upper left hand corner of the disc or about the uh, 10 o'clock position. So I still see some green, not as predominant as our previous efforts. So we are heading in the right direction. I've added some more prills and we'll let those dissolve and give it another try in a moment. So this is our fifth addition of urea to the mixture. We'll now take a drip sample and put it on our copper puck and see what kind of results we get. I'm not seeing very much green, so uh, we're going to call this completed as far as denoxing. Uh, once I wiped off that uh, spot, I noted the uh, stains that had been left over. I'll number them for you as far as which procedures were which ones. And you'll note the further we got into denoxing, the lighter the stains became, indicating a reduction in nitric acid. Now here's what's left of our sample. I added 10 milliliters of water. Uh, bring it up to 30. And we're going to try precipitating this now. We're going to add some SMB. And uh, as you add SMB, if you don't see a sudden black cloud, don't worry. Sometimes it takes a while. Usually uh, if you have a small sample of gold, you'll need to let it set overnight. Now as a rule of thumb, you want to keep adding SMB until the reaction does not happen at the bottom of the beaker, but you get a white foam on the top. That white foam on the top indicates that you're done adding SMB. At that point, you want to set the beaker aside, let it react, and let all your uh, gold particles precipitate. If the solution had not been denoxed, or not been denoxed thoroughly, we would have had to use a lot more SMB to get to this point. Now we'll let this sit overnight and we'll come back in the morning and collect up all of our gold. Well I hope this is some information you can use. I know if I'd known this when I started off I would have been uh, very thankful to uh, have had that information. Well have a good one. See ya!